CBSUAC Pocket College of Education has been producing globally competitive teachers since 1993 and is always true to its commitment to producing competent graduates, a home of experts in education. It offers one of the best education programs in the region through empowering students to become teachers, principals, superintendents, and even beyond the job they have imagined. The College of Education is also active in extending quality services to the community through research-based extension services that caters training to the stakeholders, thereby ensuring lifelong learning and innovation. Through the leadership of the present Dean, Dr. Ana Maria A. Bonito, together with the chairpersons of the three programs, Professor Mia N. Iborda for BS Ed, Mrs. Mercy M. Almonte for BE Ed, and Professor Evangelina C. Pamada for BE Ed. The College of Education does not only offer education, but it also gives legacy. The areas of specialization offered by the BSA program are Science, English, Filipino, and Mathematics. The program culminates with an intensive practice teaching in different secondary schools in Libmanan and Sipaka, where student teachers receive active mentoring from highly experienced professional teachers. Currently, the CBSUA comes up with its own site called Virtual Learning Portal, where teachers migrate modules, lessons, and activities. In other words, VLP is the main tool for teaching learning process this pandemic for online education. This virtual learning portal is a classroom-like software platform where users can learn, interact, communicate, view, and discuss their content. This is one of the latest trends in CBSUA educational system that is transforming the learning environment. Another developed instructional material that is being utilized by 100% of the faculty in the program is the use of Mojo for both online and modular education skin. The Mojo composition was designed by the Committee on Instructional Materials and went a thorough evaluation by the faculty of different disciplines. Research Journals of the College is an avenue for students' publication and dissemination of research findings. In the same manner, faculty development has been defined as that wide range of activities that institutions apply to support faculty members' roles. These included programs designed to improve the performance of faculty members in education, research, in administration as well as augmenting organizational capacities in culture. In response to this, the Dean of the College, Dr. Ana Maria A. Bonito, attended the 8th Evaluation Meeting Pre-Service Student Teachers Exchange in the Southeast Asia last November 2018 at Kibulsum Kram Rahabat University. This aims to intensify partnership and collaboration among the partner universities. This evaluation meeting is an opportunity to assess the performance, learning, and experiences of the exchange students. Students also engage on international endeavor in response to one of the goals which is to intensify internationalization. Moreover, it serves as a leeway of adapting new and effective strategies from other universities. Some students experience their practice teaching outside the country. One of those is Mr. James Carlo P. Frias, a BS Ed Science student who became a participant of Sumeo Student Internship Program in Indonesia. The university accommodates as well exchange students from Indonesia, namely Nojana Ayo Ristanti from Kunjuruhan Malang University, and Nurul Mutia from the University of Muhammadiyah Sumatera Utara who stayed for months and flexibly adapt to the culture and teaching pedagogy of the college. At present, the college has two participants for International Credit Transfer Program launching at Vives University, Belgium. These students are Mr. Archie A. Perpetua, a BS in Science student, and Ms. Mary Franz Malto, a BS in English. They are enrolled in the Global Sustainability and Engagement Program. College of Education has its flagship program called SPARK. 
This extension program aims to address the interfacing of the seven university extension objectives resulting for sustainable human living. The flagship programs are created to create a clear path for the extension service unit programs and activities. Project SHARE, commonly known as Sharing Holistic Agri-Based Research Outcomes Extension, aims to empower communities by providing extension services such as capability enhancement and techno-transfer. More so, since this pillar covers the research-based extensions, the COEB has said through its faculty, Professor R.C. D. Billiere conducted research on the cultivation of tropical mushroom entitled Optimal Condition and Mycelial Growth Performance of Cisophyllum commune in various indigenous media. And morphometrics identification and species listing of edible mushroom in Beagle Natural Park. The research findings of these undertakings were implemented through the conduct of extension activities such as tropical mushroom cultivation for Muslim community of Iblis Ipokot Kamarinisur, cultivation and production of kaboteng sagi and kaboteng pamaypay and various agricultural waste, in cultivation of tropical species of edible mushroom in the Philippines which aim to introduce significance of mushroom production and its health benefits. Transform agricultural waste into highly acceptable materials used in propagating mushrooms and provide livelihood projects and opportunities for the people in the locality. Mrs. Bernadette Parado, a resident of Barangay Tibla Sipocket Camarines Group, during the monitoring and interview to the impact of the extension services rendered by the college. Ako po si Bernadette Parado, uh, nagmula sa Tibla Sipocket Camarines Group. So far naman, madami kaming natutunan during the training na nai-apply na naman namin nung, nung mayroon na kaming mga fruiting bags na pinagsisimula. Naging maganda talaga yung outcome ng mushroom. Every time po na nagpipick kami nung, nung mushroom, talagang inaano po namin sa logbook. Mayroon po talaga kaming logbook na nakalagay yung date kung kailan siya in-harvest, ilang kilo yung na-harvest, sino yung bumili. 100 na fruiting bags, siguro na ano lang namin yun within 2 months. Yung na, na ipon po namin is 4,000 pesos. Mahigit pa, bukod pa po doon sa mga naiulam namin. Laki po ang pasasalamat namin na dinala nyo po dito sa Tibli ang, ang uh, mushroom, mushroom production. Okay. Uh, maraming maraming salamat sa Tibisho Isipokot na dinala, na dinala nila sa amin yung pagpapatuko ng mushroom na kumbaga malaking, malaking tulong at magiging mas malaking tulong pa sa family, family income namin and siguro pati din sa parang health. Maraming salamat po sa sa ibinigay na livelihood ng ng CBC. Project Promote, also known as practicing relevant outcomes-based mechanisms, operations and training enhancement. Aims to provide sustainable livelihood trainings, health education and environmental management. The COE Extension Services also respond to various requests such as the call of the Department of Trade and Industry, Go Negosha Center to provide resource speakers to its trainings. Project Alive for adequate competencies for lifelong learning with innovative pedagogy and values-oriented extension. Aims to strengthen and enhance learners' capability to learn new knowledge, essentials for education. The beneficiaries of this project are the Alternative Learning System learners of the 1st District of Sipoca. From year 2017, the College of Education has implemented and spearheaded activities to suffice the needs of us. This is evident on the active partnership of the Bureau of Alternative Learning System based in Sipoca area. The BSAD and BED, through its literacy and numeracy initiatives, conducted various trainings such as seminars on values formation, literacy month, and seminar workshop on basic technical writing. Ms. Marisol Colores, an else learner and a beneficiary of the Sboom Bunu program of the College of Education, BSAD. Ako po si Marisol S. Colores. I'm 32 years old. Na-refresh po kami ulit sa mga subjects, sa mga tinuro po nila sa amin. Kaya po, marami po kami nagtulad during the time po. Dahil po sa extension service, is marami po kaming natutunan. That time po, ma'am, is marami pong nakapasa sa amin. Maraming maraming po salamat po sa mga extension service po na, na 
tumulong po sa amin para po ma makapasa po kami kasi po maraming napakalaking tulong po na nangyari po na naturo ang mga extension service po at nakapasa po ako sa Alfred. Ngayon po ay college na rin po ako at mga kagraduate na rin po ako. Establishing and maintaining rapport with stakeholders is a foundation to deliver effective and efficient monitoring of extension activities. Hence, the College of Education and Extension Services Unit partakes in various MOA signing with institution, local government unit, and private sectors. These widens and broadens the reach of the services being delivered by the program. The college develops various information, education, and communication materials to further supplement the needs of its stakeholders and beneficiaries in the printed materials. The FB page posts updates and announcements of its activities, with 6,597 people reached and 1,443 post engagements. The CESUA CPOCA proudly introduces the College of Education as one of the well-known and prominent departments in the campus. This program is tasked to seek, discover, interpret, and communicate knowledge, and to put knowledge into work. To do this effectively, BSA department is developing the faculty into competent and innovative teaching force. In order to be beneficial to the university and to the communities, the BSA faculty has ventured in innovative researches in order to support the university in developing viable and responsive knowledge and technologies. One of the intellectual contribution of the faculty is research, which includes published researches, completed researches, and research presentations which are recognized all over the country. Professor Arce Libriere, a faculty of the College of Education, represented the institution to the Simeo C. Teacher Pivot Lecture Series, which was aired on August 20, 2020, with its research findings on tropical mushroom cultivation. The faculty is also actively participating in gender and development activities, wellness Olympics, earthquake drills, team buildings, and extension activities. The BSF faculty has received multi awards and recognition for their exemplary performance in the name of Professor Imelda Emma Blau, who bagged the Luguro Award for exemplifying her excellence as mentor of future teachers. Professor Benelda B. Metron was awarded as the Guru Award for Outstanding Achievement in Teaching and Learning Process. The ESM faculty raised the competence and esteem of the students and the stakeholders, making them dignified, productive, proactive, fulfilled, and empowered citizens of communities. College of Education conducted lab review to help alumni in preparation for the licensure examination for teachers. The review activity commenced in May until September of the year. The review of the BSA graduates focused on the general education, professional education, and field of specialization. Final coaching was conducted to ensure that all the needed learning areas is delivered and acquired. Thus, the aim of helping them to be familiarized with the process of examination should be attained. Then, pre-board examination is done as the last step to assess the readiness of the lab takers and if all the needed inputs are attained. The September 2019 lab result shows that VS had got 56.44% passing percentage, which was above the national passing percentage of 39.69%. Data revealed that the average performance of the BSE graduates from March 2017 to September 2018 is 45.54%, while the average national passing percentage for the said year is 35.90%. These further shows that the performance of BSE graduates for three consecutive years is 26.85%, higher than the average national passing percentage. These data only indicates that the BSA graduate of CBS or AC Pop-Up performed well and left for the past three years. The BSA graduate who majored in Filipino got first the third place in the registry of qualified applicants. College of Education graduates are gathered for a mass and program was prepared by the College of Education. The simple effort adds courage, hope and support to the best takers as they conquer the path. 
trivia to the lead passer is an annual event of the College of Education. We give honor to the graduates who successfully attained eligibility to teach and enter the professional work of teaching. The university shows appreciation for the achievement of their alumni by giving monetary incentives to those lead takers for making on the top 10 among the lead examiners in the College of Education. Mr. Jericho F. Balmes, the new president of Teachers Organizations of the Philippines, is an alumnus of CBS Racy Pocket, a graduated Bachelor of Secondary Education major in Biological Science. The BSF alumni maximized their potential up to the highest level where they were able to compete not just at the national level but in the international endeavor as well. CBSUA is a future-ready institution and envisions to be a center of excellence in education who promises to cater the demands and challenges of the changing world towards achieving milestones of the 4.0 eras.